Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here on the JMC Network Newscast. I'm Elizabeth Weiss. It's time to break out those blazers and bright skirts. Pledging is now in full swing, and it all started with midnight. Last Friday was an exciting night for both pledges and members. J.P. Vesta was there to get a piece of the action. Pledging officially started Monday as many students sport different outfits for the next five weeks of pledging, and we can expect campus will be looking a little different. Homecoming Queen nominees got a bit of a surprise during their club meetings last week. Nominees were a bit startled during the annual Homecoming Queen kidnapping, and here's a look at how it happened. <laughs> Sigma Theta Chi, give it up for your homecoming queen nominees. will be able to vote for nominees during the next couple of weeks for homecoming that will take place the week of October 15th. Will Rogers brings us a story on the upcoming election and the importance of students voting. Well, I, I, yeah, I would suggest to make uh, oneself more politically aware uh, is to uh, read a good newspaper. Uh, now. I think I can't imagine most people not having access to the internet and being able to to uh, uh, access uh, newspapers and and uh, you know some other other good solid sources. Uh, we have uh, we have National Public Radio here on campus, which I think is a great source for news. I think one thing that college students especially need to be aware about is who's going to be providing funding for higher education. I mean, President Obama has already extended Pell Grants and the Ryan Romney budget would decrease that amount of money. I think that's a huge issue for students because college affordability right now is a big deal. I think a lot of students don't pay attention or they take their parents' views. And so I think always voter education is an important issue about here's what concerns you as a student, as a man, as a woman, as someone looking in the job field learn about it. Don't just take what others say at face value. That's very important. Last year, Gamma Sigma Phi pledged to raise $20,000 to donate to Habitat for Humanity. And with the 68-hour volleyball tournament, they almost did it. The final $2,400 was donated by Kinsman alumnus Chad Baker. The Nito family will finally have the home they've been waiting for this November. For the JMC Network Newscast, I'm Elizabeth Weiss. Join us next time for another look around campus.